Hello all, this is Collector Man, and I was tagged by the creator of this Tim Burton tag, Anthropomantic Fiend, aka the Mayor of Halloween Town, to answer six questions on the amazing Tim Burton, and I would do so gladly. The first question is, what is your favorite Tim Burton movie and why? And that is Beetlejuice. I love everything about this film. I love the effects. I love the actors. I love the score. I love all the visuals in the film. Um, and I think they fit the film very well as, as far as the practical effects go. Uh, Tim Burton has described them as being uh, very cheap and fake looking. But I think that was done more out of necessity because the film didn't have a very big budget and a very small amount of the budget went to the effects. But when you have very little to work with, it really forces the creativity. And this film is just full of creativity. Um, madcap, macabre visuals, um, Delia's sculptures coming to life. Um, everything. The characters, um, of course Beetlejuice, um, even though he is lewd, crude, and rude, um, he's still lovable because Michael Keaton gives a great performance and he's not even in the film that long, but he made a huge impact. And um, the performance of Catherine O'Hara as Delia, I love it. Um, I love Lydia. Um, everything about this movie and this movie was also my first exposure to Tim Burton and I saw it at a very young age at about um, four or five and I was very lucky because um, at that same time the Beetlejuice ball uh, really started rolling I guess you could say uh, the film was a huge success and then there was a cartoon series um, which I also love and there was a toy line by Kenner Toys uh, that I begged my parents for and I was so excited one Easter when I got the Showtime Beetlejuice action figure in my Easter basket and there was also um, a video game for the Nintendo Entertainment System not very good and very very hard um, it's very hard to beat that game without um, some cheat codes or using the Game Genie um, but it does have some elements that were carried over from uh, the film. Um, so I still love it. And let's just talk about for a second how this film managed to get a PG rating. Um, so Beetlejuice um, uses the brown word. Um, he also... Um, drops an F-bomb, and grabs himself. Um, you have uh, Barbara hanging in a closet by a noose and pulling her face off, and also Barbara holding a bloody knife in one hand and Adam's uh, decapitated head in the other. And I realize that all of this was done comedically, but it, it kind of baffles me with the rating because the PG-13 rating was in place at that time. And also just comparing it to another film that I love, The Addams Family, which only came out three years later, and it was slapped with a PG-13 rating. Um, I don't know how Beetlejuice came across the PG rating, but um, that's not a detriment to the film. I love the film, um, whatever it's rated. Um, I just thought that was interesting. And... Um, Question two, what character do you relate to most in a Tim Burton film? And that is Edward from Edward Scissorhands. Um, Edward and I both seem to be introverts. Um, we are both creative. Um, we don't necessarily fit well in a so-called normal society. Um, I feel like Edward and I... Um, maybe sort of like the the final puzzle piece um, that just doesn't quite fit. And also the scenes between Edward and the inventor played by the amazing Vincent Price. Um, those scenes are bittersweet for me. 
Uh, my father introduced me to the films of Vincent Price. And my dad even had certain Vincent Price-like qualities to him. And um, we did a lot together. Um, you know, um, he exposed me to the older horror films, and um, I showed him some of the newer stuff. And we would go to horror conventions and, and hang out together and watch horror films and, and stuff like that. And uh, my dad is no longer here, but when he passed, um, it really left the feeling um, of incompleteness, um, much in the same way as Edward is literally incomplete. Um, the inventor was not um, able to attach Edward's hands before he passed. Um, question three. Your favorite piece of music from a... Tim Burton film, and that is absolutely Ice Dance from Edward Scissorhands. That track, uh, that piece of music really gives me a sense of childlike innocence and wonder and amazement, and it also reminds me to stop and enjoy the little things in life, the simple things, uh, the beautiful things that we may pass up. Um, because of our daily craziness that, um, that goes on in our everyday lives. And, um, question four is, what is your favorite animated Tim Burton film? And that is absolutely The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I love everything in this film. The stop motion animation is amazing. The level of detail um, this was a huge project to take on, and just everything that was done um, is is amazing. And I love the voice cast as well. You have Catherine O'Hara, uh, Paul Rubens, um, Chris Sarandon, um, and of course, um, Danny Elfman provides the uh, singing voice for Jack. And I love all that. I love... The music, um, movies and music are two of the greatest loves in my life, and when they come together to make something as amazing and wonderful as The Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, it really makes me happy. And, uh, question five, what Tim Burton movie do you wish was better? And, um, that is Dark Shadows. Um, this is yet another thing that my dad, um, exposed me to. Um, the original gothic soap opera, Dark Shadows, as well as the two films, um, House of Dark Shadows and Night of Dark Shadows. Um, so I was a fan of Dark Shadows, and I was very excited when I heard that Tim Burton was going to be um, doing a version. But ultimately, uh, I just don't think it came together um, that well, it was a little une it's just a little uneven, and some of the humor that they were going for in some of the scenes just didn't work. Um, of course, I do enjoy Johnny Depp and uh, the rest of the cast. I do like the cast, but um, yeah, I just think this one fell flat. Um, but I do find things that I can enjoy uh, enjoy in it um, because I just I don't hate anything Tim Burton. Um, I love everything Tim Burton, um, as well as kind of this film, um, even though I wish it was better and there are some things that could have been done better. Uh, question six, if you can only watch one Tim Burton movie on Halloween, what would it be and why? Um, I kind of went back and forth with this. I was thinking, of course, Sleepy Hollow, Hollow because it is... Um, of course, very Halloween, and it is, of course, based on the story by Washington Irving, and, but I ultimately think that I'm going to go with, um, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Um, this is yet another thing I was a fan of before Tim Burton, um, did his version. Um, I came across the stage version with, um, George Hearn and Angela Lansbury, and I really love that version um, uh, because it was a dark musical. And when I heard that Tim Burton was doing this, I was very excited. And I was not disappointed. 
Um, I love the film. Um, I love the songs, of course. Um, they were conceived by uh, Stephen Sondheim. And... Again, this uh, incorporates two of the greatest loves of my life, movies and music, together. And also Tim Burton. So, um... That's the trifecta for me, I guess. And also um, the the interpretations of the songs by Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter, uh, who I also love. And uh, the cast in the movie is great. I love um, Alan Rickman and Timothy Spall. Uh, they are two of my other favorites. And I just love... Um, the concept of the film and the original story, of course, it's basically about a wronged man who comes back to town under a different name to seek his revenge, and um, as a barber, he slits the throat of his victims, and um, Mrs. Lovett, Lovett, played by Helena Bonham Carter, um, then proceeds to uh, cut up the bodies and bake them into meat pies. So I think um, the subject matter is very appropriate for Halloween, and I love the film. And I just want to thank Anthropomantic Fiend for tagging me in this. That is the final question. I will be leaving a link to his original video in the description. Please check it out, and please subscribe to his channel. And, um... I am going to tag um, assholes watching movies in this because I know, um, I'm pretty sure that Jay is a Tim Burton fan. I know she loves Beetlejuice in particular. And um, I'll also tag just anyone else who is watching this um, who wants to do it. Um, and again, please visit Anthropomantic Fiend's original video. And I will see all of you soon.